But when I put off things that I know I should be doing for something else, that's when it's not okay. If you're showing up to the gym is half the battle. Like once you're there, you're already halfway done. I'm trying to be a dick to anyone out there, but like, you know, like if obviously if that is half your battle, I mean, then great. At least you did show up. I guess I'm thinking in terms of like me and you. Like me, and, we would never say that. For me and you, like we're just naturally. No, I get angry with myself. Dude, when I, when I hear that voice, I'm like, damn, like that's like what's got everything like that was like the the voice of water buffalo for a minute you know what i mean like that yeah, me saying the, what the fuck's the water buffalo water buffalo tm is back with another buff talk yep. three two one yo what's going on guys it's old school matt here we're back with another buff talk and today we're joined by one of my closest friends chase flores the man who runs the brand activo apparel um, without further ado, welcome Chase onto the podcast. What's up, brother? What's going on, guys? How are you? It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. Me, me and Chase actually used to uh, work out, hang out together when we used to live closer to each other. And um, Chase moved down to Boca, which is like 40 minutes from where <laughs> I'm at now. But you know what's crazy, too? I was thinking, uh, it's kind of weird that we're doing a podcast right now because remember when we started doing podcasts on Zoom? Mm-hmm. And we would just do podcasts here yes. and there like that. It's come a long way, bro. <laughs> that was funny. We like were, we were on Zoom doing some random shit we just like bullshit and yeah. everything we should actually um, pull those up soon like yeah, watch it's probably it's probably uh that's probably has i think that has more views than some of the podcasts like probably more of the podcasts i do now remember it's called uh, after hours that, yeah. was, that was cool yeah it was cool wow. and uh we uh yeah we started off doing that like 2020 before the coronavirus yeah and then um yeah me and chase we've been together as friends since like 2019 and um we started working out together is when I was starting water Buffalo and um, he, we were introduced by mutual friend Lawrence and um, I don't know. We just grown our friendship. Things have changed a lot, you know, since that fucking time, yeah. it's changed a lot. Uh, me and Chase have both switched. Well, switch what we were doing before you were, what were you doing before you were working? Where I was working. Where was I working? Maybe for my dad. Yeah. Yeah. I was working for my dad. I think yes, I was going to yes. do start doing programming. Yes. Just totally switched up what I was going to do and just, uh, Kind of just ventured off, and I work at a, a restaurant part time, but um, yeah, I mean, shit just changes. You yeah, know what I mean, it, thing, I remember he used to get up early as fuck. Early as shit. Yeah, every day, fucking five. That shit sucked. Uh, yeah, dude, bro, wake up, bro. Think about it. How's he doing? He's doing good. Yeah. Um, waking up at five. Um, I mean, not that's like a big deal, but like, bro, and then if no one's ever done like hard labor like that, construction, flooring, especially. <laughs> like that's that's literally like hard work like i don't recommend yeah. anyone doing that yeah. like you know work hard at something else. That. Um, yeah that shit yeah, sucks he does like uh, hurricane shutters yeah <laughs> shit fucking sucks yeah things have changed a lot and for the better i would say for most part oh, yeah, right? for sure you know definitely um chase has got a lot of different ventures coming up in in life and um i've changed up a lot of things that we were doing with water buffalo when we first started it was like i remember when we made that corny ass video you remember which one the one at my grandma's house. Dude, I was just... And you were, you were like, this is going to be corny shit one day. And I was like, uh, at the time, I thought it was cool. It was. Yeah, and it was kind of stupid, but... But, like, think about it, like, that, that's, like... Dude, when I when I hear that voice, I'm like, damn, like, that's, like, what's got everything, like... That was, like, the the voice of Water Buffalo for a minute. You know what I mean? Like, that yeah, me yeah. saying, the, what the what fuck's the Water Buffalo? I think it's still on the video sometimes. <laughs> that shit was funny. And, uh, yeah, the, 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 the... What the hell is Water Buffalo was... That, that was, was so funny, bro. That was hilarious. <laughs> And, um, yeah, we started doing that, and I don't know what the fuck we're... How was your grandma? Is she good? Yeah, she's good. I haven't seen her in a while. Yeah, she's, she's doing all right. That's good. Was my grandpa still around when that... Yeah, but he wasn't living at the house, right? Nah, he was at the nursing home. Nursing home, yeah. I met him a few times. Yeah, we went to uh, the West Palm. I think that was the last time I saw him, too, was that time we went. Really? Well, we went in, like, February or something. Yeah, I went, I went a few times. I want to say... I met him at least twice. Yeah. I want to say. That was nuts. That was before uh, COVID hit, and... Um, he was, he, was he alive for COVID still, or no? He died during during like it, the right? first, yeah, first like two months. I remember that was like when it was like really rough time. No one yeah. knew what the hell was going on, and like, and that happened. You were saying the world was gonna end. Yeah, remember that? Fucking Spencer got me all freaked out. Like, oh, dude, we're all gonna die. I'm like, dude, and yeah. now like I just look at it. I mean, I don't, yeah. I don't really want to bring that up right now, but we'll talk about that another time, I guess. What the pandemic? Yeah. No, I, yeah, it's just. But I remember you were telling me you're like, yeah, bro, it's gonna be like a zombie apocalypse. People yeah. are gonna break in everywhere. Yeah, it's and like shit's gonna go nuts, and then nothing and really happened. Nothing happened. Yeah. If anything, dude, like, I mean, think about it too, like, during the, uh, that helped you a lot, too. Think about you, that's when you started your gym. Yeah. Because you got all that equipment from your uncle. Yeah. You know? Remember we picked it up at uh, Boynton somewhere? Oh, yeah, you went with Was that your uncle? Yeah, yeah remember, we used my, my truck, remember? We picked it all up. I still have some of that shit. I yeah. still have the rack. I still have the, 
and the gym's changing. He had like a little like uh, sit up thing. Sorry, I keep messing with this. No, you're good. That, that's what happened during the pandemic though. We all like worked out here. We all like, cause it, we didn't know what the fuck. At first it was like, we were kind of nah. scared, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was kind of like scary. Remember we, we, your mom would make us clean everything and like we'd yeah. all be like one person at a time and it was funny. Yeah, I mean, no, we don't, I, mean, I don't. No, but do you remember, remember think about, think about when to, uh, it seems like so long ago, but it's it crazy, wasn't it was only a year ago, it's right? crazy. Remember uh, the Stonehaven videos? You still have those on the program where we would talk about uh, like a weekly, yeah, yeah, weekly like, check in or, or like motivate, we'd do yeah, like a motivational word. Yeah, yeah. That's still on the program? Yeah, I'm actually. You're revamping it, right? Yeah, I've been trying to, to revamp. I already have two parts done. I've been trying to find someone to help me with the boxing thing, but I might just do it myself. What do you, have, what my, do you want to do? My buddy did a powerlifting one. I did the bodybuilding one. I wanted someone to do a boxing one. Like, not me, but no one. I haven't found anyone to do it. So I'm just Like an actual this. boxer? Yeah, or like an um, amateur fighter. I was going to try to get even time to do it, but. What about that one guy? You know, he's probably too busy. The, the Eric Lopez? Uh, the one you did the podcast with? Or you went to, remember you recorded him at the Delray Gym? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the Egyptian guy? Yeah. yeah he's just, he's, he's busy. He's like, actually, like, that's his day job. Yeah, he's a good guy. Do you yeah. want to have, like, a course on how to get actual better boxing, or? It's more of just, like, an intro. I'm just going to change it to be, like, a boxing, um, like, workout program. So yeah, it's going to yeah. be, like, boxing mixed with bodybuilding. I found a new app that they just came out with. It's called uh, Kajabi. So, like, you don't have to d use your online browser. It's, like, on your phone, which would be really cool. So, what, what, is, what do you mean? So, like, oh, they can just download that app? app yeah. And use your program through that? Yeah. And it'll be, that's like, dope. on there. But, no, nah, I mean, that's coming up. But I have a lot of other, a lot of different things. It's, like, when you start something, you, like, think that you're going to do one thing. Yeah. But then it's, like, cool because you can explore a lot of different avenues. And, like, the apparel has gone well. Yeah, like, for sure. It, the supplement has gone well. That's something I, I noticed, too. Like, your apparel is, like, it's, like, doing good. Like And, like, the the those designs you do, like, the fuck communism. And the, yeah, yeah. Those are People all, like, that shit. those are cool. Like, because, like, those are really different. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And, like, that's, like, shit. that's, like, you being yourself. So, it's, like. The Kill All Pedophile shirt is, that one's is, is fucking, everyone loves that That was, like, a bestseller, bro. probably, right? Yeah, I sold out of the twice. Like, I've no never way. had that happen before. Yeah. I still have stuff from, like. Like you, like you remember the long sleeves? I don't yeah. remember the long sleeves. Yeah, the green ones. I still have some of those. Um, I don't sell them that much. Maybe like once every in a blue moon. But like the kill all pedophiles moved every size in large and extra large twice. Yeah, and and medium, um, and like even double. I I don't. I never d ordered double X, but like people wanted them in double four X. Yeah. Um, yeah, bro. Fucking people in Australia. Really? Everyone loves the fucking shirt. That's nuts. Yeah, I, I got to give credit to my boy who actually had a, s a similar shirt. Um, he had the same shirt, but he his sister made it for him. And what, that kind of gave you the idea? Yeah, it was a guy in Miami. He said his sister made it for him for his birthday. And he's just like, I don't know why anyone doesn't make these yeah. shirts, bro. Everyone loves it. You know what it is? I feel like people look at it like... People are like, oh, like they're gonna judge him, or like, what the hell is that? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you can't make that. But it's like when you Bro, think about I everyone else. I went to the gym last night, and some guy said, "I want this shirt." Really? He texted me, yeah. And I don't know if he bought one yet or not. That's but funny. He, he fucking, everyone loves it because it's like so in your face. And the fuck communism one was good. Um, that one was really. You, did you actually? You actually like I, those? Or not yet? No, yeah, they're already out. Oh, okay. I, I didn't sell that many. I think we sold like four. I actually want to grab one of those. Actually, after this. yeah, that's dope. I'm gonna give my um, dad one of those too. <laughs> It's a good shirt, bro. People like it. Uh -huh. um, but I, I don't know. I just thought it was cool. Like, your your stuff, Chase runs an apparel brand, which is more like a Nike or like a Under Armour, which is like really good designs yeah. and like really like sharp. And it's like sleek. very like, a, yeah, like very simple, sleek. But um, it's like something you'd see like a lot of people wearing. But the shit that we do is just like fucking funny and like yeah. crazy shit. Your shit's like, your shit's dope because it's unique. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it's unique to, to what so. we do. I mean, there's some like the reg like the tank tops and stuff like that and the, the shorts are really like, I guess mainstream, but like the kill all pedophile yeah. shirts, like. A, but then isn't that like a? Don't you want to like kind of make like a different type of brand towards that too, or you want to keep that with him? Is that like water buffalo? Would you say? Yeah, I mean, and eventually in the next couple like months or years, it's really the thing that's been holding not holding us back is just like the supplements. Like I really want to yeah. start doing that again, like really hard. And um, for people that don't know, that might be watching this before uh, that time comes, it's like we've been having trouble getting our supplements, so it's like been on a back burner but i really want to grow that for like the next couple months yeah. at when they come in and then uh eventually just like you know i have a good partner with their apparel now and yeah. then just do like crazy more crazy shit like uh, another one that was, people liked a lot was the stringer that we dropped um the buff one buff buffet of, of, yeah yeah, that one's dope. That. yeah it's a really nice stringer too yeah and um you know just like shit like that like just different shit shit that make people laugh like i'll think of another one uh sometime soon with like like the kill all pedophiles or yeah. something something similar, but.
but that one does well. Um, yeah. So what, what's good about like, uh, cause like when you think about back to your brand, like when we started, uh, you know, making the videos, the clubhouse, yeah. doing all like, you know, just random shit. yeah, just random stuff. You know, we'd go to like your clubhouse gym and walk yeah, in we and went to a run. You know yeah. That? Yeah. Every, whatever. Um, I was, you know, what I was very surprised by, I was very surprised by Brett that day. Oh, the, the nine mile run we you're talking about? Oh run. my gosh, that was that was nuts. He's yeah. funny you said that because he wants. He's like, dude, we should start doing that again. Like he brought it up. He's like, when we did that, he's like, bro, I felt like a savage. I like, do think about. We just I woke up one day, just ran that he, mile. He fucking he he was like very. He did a very good job. Yeah, he did. Yeah, I was thought he was gonna be lacking, and it was John. Remember John? John, yeah. Shout, was he? Four, was after good. four miles. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, but uh, it's funny you said because I brought actually brought new uh new running shoes. So was it us four or was it more people? It was me, you. I feel like there's one Who more. was it? Me, you, John, Brett. There's one more kid. Right? I don't know. It was definitely not Lawrence. Was it Brian? <laughs> Maybe. I feel like it was a Spanish person. We have a picture of all those. We got to bring it up. Yeah. But, but um, anyway, um, it's funny because when we started, you know, um, doing all this stuff together and you kind of brought me along, it was really just like you, you remember you saying like, oh, you know, like I want to have a training, a training uh, program. You know what I mean? And then it's like, you you really like put in the work, and people still use it to the day. People people still buy it to the day. It's cool. Yeah, like you put in the work, bro, and like you just you know you kept progressing. And what's great is because like your clothing is sick, and the clothing is good because the apparel side like keeps the business you know keeps it fun, keeps it interesting while you're working on side stuff like let's say the supplements. Yeah, it keeps, keeps it relevant. It, yeah, it keeps relevant. You know yeah. what I mean? So um, no, I mean I definitely take like a pretty. Not big loss, but it's just like sometimes it's like a big investment to no, have for sure. Clothing. But it's good because like even if you break even, people are wearing your shit. Yeah, like people are literally like if if they do, they're like putting your brand out there for free. Exactly. So it's like if, you know, if you make a couple bucks or you know, ten bucks, it's not that bad, and it doesn't take that long to. I already have all like the designs and shit, all the yeah. logos and stuff, so it's pretty easy to. That's what I'm saying. So now you can slap it on. You can like you have all that. You can slap it on shorts, jackets, whatever. Yeah, pants. You know what I mean? So you kind of got all that. And then while the supplements are being processed, you can uh, throw that out there. Yeah, so I've been doing a lot of apparel lately because, like, I just, the, the hold up with all that stuff. But there's different shit, like, I mean, I don't, fuck you. Yeah. This, the, the thing I'll show you earlier. Oh, yeah, this, yeah. Like, just different shit that no one really would do. Like, I had those shaker bottles for a little while. I remember, remember we did put all the stickers on them and, yeah. dude, damn. Bro, there's yeah. so much shit that, like, yeah, has gone dude. by. It's crazy. Yeah, me and me and Chase have been, like, in and out of uh, Crazy. different different periods in our life for sure, bro. Yeah. The last two years have been, I mean, my mentality has changed. Dude, like, mine too, honestly. Bro, I guess like, I was a simp bitch. That's like, funny you say that because I feel like, bro, like, um, I mean, I don't want to sound all like, you know, what, like soft, but like, <laughs> like you know, like when we kind of came into like each other's lives as friends, like we were both kind of on like a a level of like uh like being like kind of vulnerable with like you know different stuff like. With like relationships and like yeah, you know we're, we're pussies yeah <laughs> I was a pussy bro exactly I was, I was a literally a, a pussy yeah and like we both brought each other up yeah. you know we did savage shit together we would fucking work out hardcore film videos yeah. being consistent with content and um we kind of like you know helped each other up and then throughout that we kind of ventured off in our own little things but always kept in touch yeah. and I mean it's only been two years now like it's like we've fucking been <laughs> be friends for like ten years and just reunited I mean, it's, it hasn't even been two years it's yeah been, it's been like a like we we were working out together during the pandemic in like May. No, but so actually like, remember yeah. remember that one time, bro. It was you're about to you're about to graduate and you're going to UF and we're on the stairmaster at LA Fitness. Graduate. Oh, high, high school. school? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember we were talking, bro, and like we both even had the same mindset back then. And you were like, yeah, bro, like I want to, um, I want to do something. You know, I want to be. We were both were like want to be entrepreneurs, wanted to create a yeah. business, and it's like crazy to see what it evolves. You yeah. know what I mean? So like, that was what like probably like six years ago. Yeah, like for four and a half. Or four, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. I don't make me feel old, but I remember that. I'm bro. thinking actually when I graduated, so it was kind of like. Yeah, bro, that's just crazy. Seems like it was yesterday, but no, we we, yeah, me and Chase have been friends for for, for a little minute. while, and uh, we've known each other because of mutual friends and shit. Jim, LA Fitness, really LA Fitness. Cause I remember yeah. watching you too, like uh, you know when you when you uh, created Old School Matt on Instagram and yeah. stuff like that. Like you always had the fire like workouts when you like you introduced me to Julian Smith and all that. Yeah, that's kind of like when I really was like, damn, this kid's dope because like he's into like what I'm into too. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? But yeah, it was like what 2016. 2015? That was a while. Yeah, that was probably a while ago. It was probably even before that. Jits. Yeah, working out LA Fitness. But yeah, things have changed, bro, and things have changed for the, the best. It's good to to look back and think about things and it shit. It's, it's fun, and um, you know, like with with the different shit that we have going on, it's uh it's rewarding to think that 
we're better off now than we were uh, in 2020. Yeah. You know, not sure. just like financially and shit or whatever. Like mentally, just mentally, like we have better foundations. Like my friends are a lot. I mean, I've always had good friends. Yeah. But just like my whole life has been has yeah. been a lot better. And I've been busier, but I've been busier in a good way. Like you've been productive, essentially. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And not that I wasn't productive back then. No, of course, really as productive. But I just like I feel like life has changed for the better for for both of us. Yeah, for sure. I agree. And uh, yeah, I mean, dude, honestly, like even like looking back on me as well, like or when we started hanging out, like I've I've changed pretty much. Like I've changed a lot, actually. You know. Um, like, even, like, I started reading more. And, like, dude, like, you guys be surprised. But, like, reading really makes a difference in, like, w- w- whatever, the way you think, the way, you know, your habits. Um, it just really brings a new perspective to, to life, I feel like. You know, I feel like that's helped me a lot. You yeah, know, that's yeah, what's definitely. got me a lot better, I feel like. You know? What do you think? Yeah, no, I I, I was more strict about it before. Yeah. Um, I was, like, every day, every night. Uh, I kind of fallen off of my reading uh Every every morning, yeah. I still read a couple pages before I go to bed. Every night, I read uh, different books. Now I used to read more like self help books back in the day. Yeah, what do you read now? Like more technical stuff. Like like, uh, like I have a book fitness? on coding. That's yeah, coding. That, okay. that too. I just got this book that I want to read next. It's like, like you're reading more stuff on like uh, actual like skills skill set. Yeah, like uh, this is a book called Met- Metabolical. It's a guy I really like. This is like a. I need to start reading stuff like that too. But once I'm done with seventy five hard, I'll I'll read. Uh, stuff like that. Yeah, I was doing more like uh, you know, think rich, grow rich. Yeah, like like, like self help, like a uh, motivational type of a uh, entrepreneur. Your books. next five moves is a good book. Uh, laws of yeah. power. But as sw- once I started reading this book, shooting video that doesn't suck. Uh, that was that good. Yeah, it was pretty good. I I, have, I didn't finish it to be honest. I read like, <laughs> like I mean, you got you kind of get the gist of it probably seventy eighty pages. It's more like a reference. You can reference it for things. It's yeah. good. Um, and then uh, I changed. I changed to like pretty more technical stuff. I read another book that was uh, on like l- leadership or something. And th- and then now I'm doing like the t- coding uh, uh, book. And then I oh I oh, did. A, there's a book that I also have not finished. Uh, was being um, it's called I don't know what the fuck it's called being good on camera or something like that. Yeah. Just like giving tips from like a like how to like just like. I kind of like this right now. Yeah, honestly, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like I struggle with that. Yeah, you should you should read it. I, I have my I have it in my my backpack actually. Yeah. It's a good book. It's a good book. It's like a reporter guy who did like a lot of different sales videos, and he talks about like what you should do on camera and how you should uh, portray your voice and and make gestures and stuff. It's more for like if you're like talking directly to a camera. Yeah. Like if I'm like speaking and I'm like trying to present. Uh, it can be know. hard, dude. Yeah. yeah. Like, dude, I, I watch like people that do great YouTube videos. Like you're I mean, you're really good at it. From when we first started, like. Yeah, I mean, like we're. You're, remember, we couldn't like yeah, even do it. Dude, this is so um, I mean, I'm not good. I, I I'm decent, but yeah. like in two years from now, it would be better. But then again, with anything, bro, it's like, well, what's correct? <laughs> <laughs> with any, better. Exactly with anything, you just dude. Literally, what I bro, what I came to understand is too is like, especially with like reading taught me. Literally, it's it's one day at a time, bro. That's that's it. You know yeah. what I mean? Because like I always, bro. This is how I used to look at it. When I used to look at a book that was like, let's say 300 pages, I'm like, holy shit! Like, how am I ever gonna finish this? Bro, you do 10 pages a day before you know it, it's done. And it's like, yeah. that that's life. You get through it. You do a little bit at a time, one foot in front of the other, and it's fucking, that's it. Done, you you yeah. get, you're there. You know what I mean? Don't yeah. think about it. Just do it. You think about it too much, you're never going to get it done. I always exactly. do. I always do. I always the same. Exactly. I used to fall in the same um, motion. Just I would think about shit, think about it, think about it. Next thing you know, I wasted so much time thinking about it. No shit, nothing got done. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I, I totally agree. So I think that uh, it's important that we look back and... Uh, realize that we've made different different growths in different areas yeah maybe have like i definitely am not in the best shape of my life right now yeah like i, mean, I feel like i am personally just because i'm yeah. on i'm doing like 75 hour challenge and stuff oh, yeah, like that. so i'm like i'm like i feel fucking nuts like yeah. i weigh what um if you saw my before and after for my day one it's crazy i weighed the same from what i did day one and right now but i'm 10 times more shredded if you see it's crazy it's pretty cool interesting but now the gym is definitely taking a toll but i'm not gonna lie what's helped me too is uh because I guys, I actually take math advice too when he talks about like fitness and stuff. This kid's fucking knowledgeable on this shit. Um, fucking eat more protein, like for real. Mm-hmm. Like he says it, and it's fucking true. Like I used to fucking be a little bitch and eat. <laughs> I used to. I, I'm working out. I used to probably. I'm not kidding, guys. Like, um, I mean, there was a time where I was very consistent, but I would fall off and not track and not eat protein. Like, yo, if you're a guy, or even a girl, like fucking eat protein. Like, I guarantee you're not even eating 100 grams of protein a day. Like, it's not enough. 
it's you know what I mean? Like, it's not enough. Yeah. Like, I'm eating two grams per body, per, uh, two oh, grams. Oh, nice. Yeah, so finally, I'm, 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 like, eating, I'm eating, like, 220 grams of protein now. Bro, sometimes oh, I'll eat, you're doing kilograms. No, uh, 220 grams. Yeah, you only weigh 110 pounds? No, no, no. Um, I mean, no, uh, two, two, maybe, whatever two whatever it is. kilograms? No, 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 I weigh, um, I don't know what I'm doing, actually, now. No, I don't know, whatever, it doesn't matter. But I'm eating around, like, 220, 240 grams of protein. That's good. Which I mean, that's, lot. like, that should be, like, minimum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But before I was eating, I was yeah, eating like 150. Dude, I was eating like one, like, bro, like my body weight in grams. And you know what I mean? Like a pound yeah, per body weight. Stupid as fuck. The worst so thing like, anyone can do. And um, I got to take more of my advice. I've been, my protein consumption has been lower. Not, not because I want to. I just haven't been eating as much. Yeah. Um, but no, like, I mean, I was super, super strict on my workouts when I was with Chase. Now I got other stuff going on. I'm yeah. still strict. I still work out five times a week. But like my mindset has shifted a little bit. Um, but you know what's good is that like when you have amazing genetics like me, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> when, uh, when when you work really hard and you set a foundation, you can kind of do minimal and like yeah, for sure. See like good gains. Yeah, and I feel like I definitely like recomped my body in a, in a way. I had a really good workout last night though. Not gonna lie. Really? Yeah, I worked out by myself last night. You just felt, it's one of those days where you just felt it. Right? Yeah, I felt like a I felt love savage. That. I didn't get a good pump because I didn't eat like. I was eating like lower carb yesterday because I had a shit ton of junk food over the weekend. Yeah. But I just had a really fucking good workout. Yeah. And uh, I mean, back in the day, I would be like obsessed with just getting a perfect workout in and having to do everything right and doing everything like that's on how point. I am. But like I, I've come to realize that like it doesn't really matter because I'm not like competing or I'm not, you know, like, who gives a fuck? There's yeah. more important things than, you know, and dude, that, that having kind of, an extra vein on your body. That's cool. And that's kind of like a good life lesson too. Like, um, no, I mean, bro, like I just real quick for people that are watching this. I don't like when people think that they're a hard worker or successful just because they work out. Like yeah. that should that should just be the minimum. Like yeah. working out is does not did it does not make you a, a hard work grinder person. Yeah, I agree. Because you work out once a day, you're for two hours. You're like a hustler now. But that's the thing too. Like people working out for two hours. Like all right, what are you doing for the two hours? I guarantee you do not give it your all. Yeah, that's true. You know I what mean, I mean? I, like I only train for like an hour and fifteen, and then I do cardio. I do. Yeah, I do forty five to an hour. Yeah. And dude, it's funny though. Uh, you know who Tim Grover is? The he, that's the book I'm like reading right now. Like he's the author of it, but he also is like a um, a coach for like Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, like you know the greatest athletes of all time. Um, he was saying how like he was doing a podcast, and uh, he was saying how people are always like, oh, um, if you showed up, um, that's half the battle. He's like, he's like, what the fuck? What he's like, he's like, if you can't fucking show up and that's half your battle, he's like, you don't even deserve to fucking go home. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like go home. Like. If like, fucking if you're just showing up like that's not enough like that you know what I mean like I get it some people it's probably harder but no nah, come on like get the fuck in there and like showing up <laughs> is not half the battle that's yeah. none of the battle like yeah, you, exactly. you literally that's have like it. the starting point like you know what I mean like I get what people saying when they say that but like what do you what do you think that means though to them like showing up is half the battle it's just saying like if you can get I mean I, it's true it's true like if you can no get I mean I guess mentally in, yes I agree if you get yourself in the area like if you if you're showing up to the gym is half the battle like once you're there. You're already halfway done, but I know what you mean. Like people think that, like I guess I'm thinking in terms of like me and you. Like me, we would never say that because, like, for me and you, like we're just naturally. No, I get angry with myself. Like I know that I'm training really hard. I know that I yeah. lift heavy weight. I know that I'm doing more. But there's something in my mind that I know I'm not training at 100. percent Yeah. Like I and, know, I know it. Yeah. And it's, don't get me wrong too. Like I'm not like trying to be a dick to anyone out there. But like you know, like if obviously if that is half your battle, I mean then great. At least you did show up. I mean, not gonna lie to you. There's been times in my life where I've just been like really down in the dumps and like. Um, I would just show up and like, you know, do what I could at the time. And like that, that was good enough for the time being because of yeah. where I was mentally. But, um, yeah, I guess about showing up, I mean, don't get me wrong, that like that, like, yeah, for some people that is a lot harder. Like it's easier said than done for me, at least like, like, I, I mean, we've always been athletic. I mean, I have at least, I know you kind of have a baseball and stuff too. So we kind of yeah. grew up with a athletic background. Yeah. No, so. just, yeah. Going back to what you said, like. It's it's uh we gotta we gotta learn how to push ourselves harder and I'm I'm talking on myself too like I know that there are certain things in my life that like I can be better at I'm yeah. not perfect like I'm not like this you know perfect I, and what's crazy is like some people might look at me or look at you and be like wow they're they really work hard but I know I can work harder Dude, like I know so that I'm only doing like ten percent like I know that like I yeah. get mad sometimes at myself I'm like fuck it I can I can work harder because there's stupid shit that I do sometimes like I could put on like if I'm doing cardio like I don't you know, whatever, I could put on a video that's going to learn, teach me something instead of scrolling on Instagram or like, I agree. you know, other shit and like, oh, fuck, I, I know you have to enjoy life, but I get, I get irritated sometimes. 
Like I get really irritated when I'm wasting my time. Dude, it's so funny you say that because uh, sorry, I cut you off. No, you're good. Um, I mean, because like, dude, like I'm the same way. I mean, that's kind of why I did um, 75 hard just to kind of like put myself uh, like into like a, a mental challenge. Yeah. Um, but um, honestly, it's funny you say that because like when I'm in the gym, if I don't give 100, percent like I feel like I'm I fucking fight with myself mentally. You know what I mean? And like even with my business, like. You know, like, I make so many more excuses. Like, I could be learning, like, how to design better all the time. Like, constantly getting better, posting more content. And, like, that's why, like, honestly, I look up to this kid because he's fucking consistent and shit with his businesses. And, it, and honestly, do like, businesses. when I... Huh? Businesses. Well, I don't know, you know, like, your your yeah. personal brand and just Water Buffalo. And, I mean, yeah. every, like, your supplements, all that together. You know what I mean? Um, and, like, when I see your stuff on Instagram, it motivates me because I'm like, damn, like, that's, like, he's doing what you're supposed to be doing. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. being consistent posting stuff reaching out you're going you're having a vent uh you have your little you know vendor booth thing at crunch like you know you're doing what it takes and like i know like that's like i, I have to be doing similar things if i want my brand to grow yeah, but you know what's crazy is like even even then like i i still feel like my time sometimes is like like wasted and it's good though it's like it's good for you to want to do more it's good for me to want to do more and a lot of times people will like you know kind of like attack you and shit and like yeah. kind of get in your way and get and, and put you in a hard spot where you have to just be like like back before like um in past times like i would compromise my time for other things like not 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 to the level to where like people like us like in our age group would do it like i would never like waste my time like fucking being a loser and going out to like a bar going out or like having vacation time like i'm not saying that's bad don't get me wrong but i would never do those (laughs) things but i would compromise them for like stupid fights with like girlfriend yeah i agree you know like fucking i don't know you and you look back you're like wow i was just like what was i doing yeah i was just wasting wasting my time wasting my time and i yeah like now it's like i do what i have to do and there's still times where you compromise like and shit you know i'm dating somebody else and like we have our own our own time and shit like that but like yeah I mean, like yesterday, like two days ago, I was just like, I was doing something and I got really frustrated because I was like, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing this anymore. Like, you're going to have to go home. I can't have you here. Yeah. And like, I didn't, I wasn't like fucking yelling or anything, but yeah. I was just like agitated. It's funny. I get like that with Jessica. I was like, you have, I was like, you have to go home. Like now. Yeah. Like, I, I'm I not shit like, to do. Yeah. Like, I, don't, I don't try not to be a dick, but sometimes I can catch myself getting ir- very irritated because like, if I, if I find myself, you know, and don't get wrong, like, Jess, I love you, but like, um, <laughs> If, like, we hang out for... She knows it, too. If we hang out too much and I don't get the things I have to get done throughout the day, I get very irritated and frustrated because it's, like, I know I'm not giving my all. And it's, like, these are the... Day by day... Like, today is what counts. And it's, like, if I'm not doing it today, I'm, like, it's, it's never gonna... It's never gonna come. Yeah, no. You know what I mean? Sure. Don't get wrong. Yes, you have to enjoy life. Yes. But when I put off things that I know I should be doing for something else, that's when it's not okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I, I mean, it happens. What happens to the best it does, of us. It happens. Um, but it just depends on how much you can catch yourself. Yeah. Yeah, I got really, I got really, I get irritated all the time, bro. Cause like, if it was up to me, I would literally live on an island, like <laughs> by myself with like a gym and like a video camera. And I would have, yeah. you know, like, and just, a boat just to go fishing. Yeah. That, I, that's literally you. I wish, I wish people would sometimes, I, and you know what? Like, I, it sucks because like you take years out of your life and you're risking like looking back and not enjoying them and they'll be like, fuck, I wish I, but like it's the risk reward of like you trying to to make it and like what people don't realize is like the longer you prolong your your journey the worse off you're gonna be like if you could do it now like do it now yeah like i mean patience is important obviously and obviously clearly have a lot of patience you have a lot of patience but like you you have to be like on it like now because if you're not on it now you're never gonna do it and then it's gonna window away I mean, how many times have we said we're going to do some shit? Like, oh, I'm going to fucking do this. And then, like, yeah, you, don't do you don't fucking do it. That's why, like, I, I make sure if I'm making an assertion, I'm going to back it up the best I can. I can And the best that I can if I, to back it up is to do it, like, yeah. you know, right away and do it good. Yeah, and I, I feel like I could do, I could be very, uh, a lot more consistent with, you know, building my personal brand and brand in general, too, because uh, I feel like I put a lot of things off sometimes. Um, I mean, like, then again, like, I mean, I do, I still do a lot, mm-hmm. but not in areas I'd like to do more. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. I mean, it's tough. Like when you work and shit like that and stuff, but it's just like, you got to just get it done. Yeah. You know what I mean, it's just, just, it's just <laughs> sacrificing. Like I don't have, I don't have a social life. I don't. Yeah. And I'm not ashamed of it. I'm actually enjoying that. You enjoy what we do. Yeah. I enjoy what I do every day. I want to be better. Like for me, I, I don't, 
unfortunately, like this is the time. Like me and you are gonna do a podcast right now. We're gonna potentially work out, and then like I have to go. Like, yeah. I don't have time to like, you know, a lot of times people want to have like you know game night and movie night. Like, what are you getting out of that? Yeah. Nothing. Like, you know, another, you know, I would rather save that up for like a really special time and like enjoy a moment that we can remember. But like, yeah. I'm sorry, like I'm not gonna remember game night with you <laughs> every Tuesday or some shit, right? Like, yeah, you know, I'm sorry. It's like. Uh, being brutally honest but it's just or it, it has no no uh no place in my life like my extra time goes to my girlfriend and my family and yeah. like if we have time to collaborate and do shit then we can i mean i don't know if kai, Gre- kai green's watching this i'm just gonna fucking say it <laughs> you talk to him dude that guy i don't know if it, what it is i don't know if he doesn't like me or <laughs> what, what? He, he stares at you dude me and Fuck him. you, Kai Green. <laughs> me and him mean mug each other. I don't know if it's really? in my Does head. Does he train a lot? Though? Dude, he trains every day. I'm there. He's there. And bro, I swear it's so funny. We always run into each you other. Say hi. I remember one time, dude. I was like, "What a fucking dick." I fuck. I mean, I know he's in his zone. Don't get me wrong. Like, he's probably you know he's, he's a fucking he's one Does of he the train by himself. Uh, sometimes. Uh, but, uh, uh, trains with blessings a lot. Do uh, people record him and shit like that. Nah, everyone's pretty much to themselves there. It's pretty cool. Like you would think it's you like that. Membership there. Yeah. Damn, bro, I see him. Sick. I see him literally. Like, well, dude, at one time, why don't, you, why don't you like talk to him? I'll t- about to tell you right now. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. If, I think we have beef, bro. Low key. Uh, he he was walking by one time, and I was like, him, him and blessing. And uh, I was like, I was like, oh, what's up, boss? Just like, just you know, just like saying what's up. He just looks at me and kept walking. And I'm like, all right. And blessing like st- both him and his trainer started laughing, and they said what they said was up to me because they kind of like felt like it was awkward. And ever since then, bro, me and him, when we, every time we walk by each other, it's just a stare down like that. We just stare each other down, bro. I'm like, dude, like, what? <coughs> this guy, like, does not. And, bro, I, I'll catch him, like, like mean mucking me, bro. And, like, I'm not sure, like, what the, what the deal is. I'm, unless it's just in my head. But it's funny, dude. It's so funny. Because I'm yeah. just like, I don't. I'm like, dude, like, I was just trying to be nice to him. I don't know if I bothered him while he was working out. Like, I didn't I didn't mean to, like, disrupt him. Yeah, you know what I mean? Him, bro. So. I mean, I met him. He's cool and shit. Bro. Yeah, but then again, we met him at a place where if he was going to meet people for for the gym you know what i mean this is where he's in the zone like this is a, he's at work you know what i mean yeah that's your camera it's all good so but uh no i see him all the time i see i see a lot of professionals uh birdman was there you know from the heat he was working out there the other day the bit you don't remember him he played for the heat i don't know he's probably like bro like six eight he's freaking huge but um, not nah, blessing is cool. Blessings always says what's up. Yeah, I have blessings phone number actually. That's right. Yeah, you remember that? I called him one time, didn't answer. I never called him again. Um, nah, yeah, he's cool. But who else do I see there? Just a lot of professional. I've been a lot of bodybuilders for you guys. I don't yeah, know. I would just say. I mean, I would just be like, hey man, how are you? I'm, uh, like your stuff. Yeah. And then just see like if he gives you another like, fucking look. What's like? It? You know, motherfucker, fuck off. I, uh, uh, no, honestly, I'm gonna try to talk to him. If he says something, I'm gonna be like, dude, like I, I shot. What do you? What would you do? Would you would you confront him? No, I'd just be like, hey man, like I, I really love your stuff. I just wanted yeah. to say like thank you for like inspiring me and shit. Just be nice. Yeah. And then if he fucking looks at you, be like, you know what, motherfucker? How about you know what actually? You know, fuck, fuck you. Yeah, yeah, fuck you. Gets your membership revoked. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that. I'd just be like, I find it disrespectful that like Yeah, like, you dude, know, like being nice to you, man. Like, like you're like you're supposed to be this guy that's like what out here like inspiring people and you're one of yeah. the biggest guys in the in the fitness industry. Yeah. Like dude, like I just look up to you. I want to be you. I'm, I'm actually, I'm like, actually, <laughs> let me stop. All right, grapefruit man. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Bro, you know what's so funny? Uh, me and Brett were talking, and he was a troll. Him, we're, we're a grapefruit church to the gym. Me and Brett always <laughs> say stuff like that. No, but like we were like, what if, what if uh, uh, they made a pre-workout flavor grapefruit? grapefruit. <laughs> his, grapefruit his signature, his signature, uh, <laughs> his signature uh, line. But yeah. I know I see Aaron. All that is that his name? Aaron, the owner. Aaron Singerman. Yeah, I see yeah, him there all the time. Uh, I need time. to talk to him. Yeah, he's cool. I want to talk, I don't to, talk him. to him. But I've he, talked to him before. Yeah, remember? Remember well, you did like a little recording with him? Did I? Yeah, at the, at the grand opening, you interviewed him. Did I? I thought yeah. I interviewed Kai Green. No, and, and too. I remember. I think I, I want to talk it. to him. I want to talk to him. He's a nice guy. I, a lot of things I want to ask him about. Not even water buffalo related. More like for my real job related because he's fucking. He's balling. Yeah, he's dude. You know when he's there because. The nicest car in the parking lot is there. Yeah. He, he, he either has a, a Ventador, he has a Rolls Royce truck, and like red cons all over it. It's fucking dope. And it's yeah. just like, dude, honestly, like, like getting in my Honda Civic and, and parking there and, wa- and walking up, like, yeah. it's really inspiring, bro. Cause I'm like, yeah. you know what? I'm like, a broke bitch. Yeah. And exactly. Like, one of these cars will be mine one day. You know yeah. what I mean? So, whether I have to steal it or I fucking earn it. <laughs> just kidding. It's a great gym, though. How much is it a month? 60. That's not bad. Yeah. 24 hours? Nah. 
It's from like five to five in the morning to. You don't go to LA or anything like that. No. Nah. Does Je- Does Jess live down there? No. Nah. She, 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 she still lives at her, yeah, her parents. Does she stay over a lot? Uh, sometimes. Does she work out with Red Con? Red Con? No. Nah. She can't. She has a membership. They don't let her. No. Nah. I mean, she can. She wants membership, but they don't have guest passes. And are stuff like are that. they like strict now? They didn't give a yeah, fuck. Yeah, they're back strict then. now. They, they, they make fuck. sure. Yeah, they make sure you get a, a pass. And do all you all remember stuff. that, bro? Yeah. We used to go like all the time for free. I felt bad. I paid one time. Yeah. They didn't give a fuck. Is is Bruce still working there? Nah, the one guy, Milk. You know, Milk the Milky. They call him. He's like the ginger, swole beard. No, I don't know what happened to the guy that you knew. He doesn't. Yeah, I don't see him Bruce. anymore. Bruce. Yeah, I don't see him anymore. Maybe he's like in a different apartment, but. uh do you know there's like an upstairs there, like posing room? I mean, I don't go in it, but like Kai Green and all of them are always in there. I think it's up. There's like an upstairs posing room. I yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't know. Yeah, has anything changed from the gym? Yeah, dude, they're getting new. They literally like when they say it's funny because when I signed up, they're like, "Yeah, we get new equipment." Um, is that twenty minutes? No, no, that's good. We get new equipment. I forgot how every so often, but dude, like you'll walk in, it's like there's always a new piece of uh, equipment, like a new style, like whether it's like a new leg machine. New back machine. It's pretty cool. So like it keeps it fun. I mean, sometimes it was at first it was annoying because like you'd be you'd be like you'd have your workout. You know you're gonna do, and you go to, you go to that area and like everything switched the up. You're like, gone. you're like, what the fuck? You're like, where's yeah. everything? But uh, nah, it's cool. I'm starting to like I try to like network with people there and like just talk, get people happy. People give me a spot and like just start a conversation. You know, say hey, what's up? My do name you, is Chase. Do you know Ryan Lee? Right? Yeah, yeah. I talk, yeah. I actually, bro, it's funny. We've been Instagram friends for like a while, yeah. and I finally met him in person today. He's like, yo. He's like, it's so happy, or so happy, so nice to, so nice to meet you. I finally in person, and uh, I was pumped as shit. And he's like, damn, you're bigger in person, which made me feel good. He's like, you're way bigger in person. I was like, hell yeah. Yeah, he's a nice kid, bro. I, Very I nice. Wanted to have him come by and work out here, dude. He it, he goes hard in the gym. He's the loudest guy in the gym, bro. It's yeah. crazy. He he, he he yells. He <laughs> dude. He works out, like he'll he'll be. Do you know that new? Uh, I don't know if he's new, but he's a white guy, young kid, strong as fuck. Sponsored by Redcon. I think has a Lawrence beard. told me about it. Yeah, I think Lawrence, yes, Lauren Pied. So he was, uh, the guy was training. He trains with Kai Green and Blessing all the time, too. They all work out together. And uh, he was uh, he was doing, like, deadlifts or something, and Ryan was working out by him. And Ryan was fucking screaming, like, getting this guy hyped up. He ended up, like, putting on his stories, like, yo, thanks to this kid. Like, you know, he's hyping me up. And it was, like, Ryan. I looked on the guy's story, and it was, like, Ryan, like, yelling and, like, hyping him up. It was That's pretty cool. Awesome. Yeah. That was awesome. Really good environment over there. People go nuts. Yeah. Nice. But... Yeah. You, got, you got to do a water buffalo gym so I can be down here though. Bro, yeah, one day. And probably right. in the next two years. I'll I'll, uh, yeah, i definitely definitely going to do something like that. That'd yeah. be cool. Um, but yeah, for the most part, you know, things haven't, things have changed, but, you know, we're still at the core of the same dudes. Yeah. It's just where I, I feel like I'm more, I'm more like, um, I'm more stern about what I believe in now. Yeah. Back then I was, a, I was able to like. You still were a little bit though back then. Yeah, I'm I not as it. tough as I am. No, nah, right? yeah, I'm a fucking, I'm a hard ass bitch. Yeah. Oh, I meant like, to ask you too. Who uh, speaking of like like because you do the red pill Latino yeah, guys? Yeah. I, I, you I, should I, come on one day. I do. Bro. You sent this to me. I, the other day I was on it for a little bit, but uh, did one of those guys pass away? Like yeah, was it one, one of them? No, no, no. One of my boys, Red Pill Mike. He is that, that the that, same thing? Yeah, it's like the what red, is, red pill. <laughs> what is Red Pill? <laughs> it's like um, it's a community of it depends, bro. Is some it like of, conservative some, people? Kind of, but some of those fuckers are like, just hate women, and that's not what I'm there for. Yeah, it's funny because I, I like when it, when we when I went on, you guys were talking about something about women, and you're like, you, it's funny, you disagreed with what he had to say. I remember. Yeah, you're like, nah, but like that's cool that you like you just don't agree with him just because. No, hundred percent. Red Pill Mike was a, was a good dude. He um. How did he pass away? I don't know. COVID, I think. Really? He was was he like, old? I don't know, dude. It was weird. You, don't, you never met like, the guy. Nah, he would like shout me out on his stories and shit. He was a cool dude. Like he would post up gym pictures. Really. Like. Headed into the war zone, tag me, and I like repost it, and I tag him on some shit. I, I shouted him out too, like one time in my story. I was like, "Hey, I fucking fuck with this guy. He's cool." Yeah, a little bit, a little bit like hard on the whole woman thing. Like, it was very, like, very. very what are they? Like, they, they, they like, no woman. Like, women shouldn't have rights and shit. Or? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what are they like? You know what I mean? They're like, um, they're more, they're more about like, like thought culture and like. Disagreeing with women, like like t- in today's society, like only yeah, fans, like, they probably hate only yeah, fans. Yeah, exactly. they're like that. I mean, but what 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 what's different about that that uh, community is like they think men should do whatever they want and be like man whores, but they go and like will trash women when women are whores, which I don't think it's I don't think that's I, I'm I'm pretty like you know I, I'm either you're either gonna like not want to be a whore and like man and woman have to kind of abide by those rules or like you can you know what i'm saying it's yeah. i think it's a little unfair to be like 
men can fucking fuck whoever they want and women can't. Like, I think it should be like both ways should like limit the amount of sexual interaction they have with other people. But that's like a whole nother topic for yeah. another time. But yeah, basically it's just like a community of guys who it's a whole different spectrum though, bro. There's like dudes in there that believe like in polygyny, you know what that is? No. When like never men have multiple wives and shit. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I would never want that. No, nah, I wouldn't either. I wouldn't even want like I can't even imagine having to deal with another female in my life. Like <laughs> fuck that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I could not. Yeah. I literally could not. Like I would have to I would have to take out like a job in my life to you know, relationships are hard, bro. And like that's why like I preach more like the realistic side of shit. Like, you know, don't fucking waste your time on dating apps. Don't fucking you know, waste your time on, on girls that are gonna be fucking no good for you, you know. Yeah, like if you want to date, go out like dude it's crazy because me and Bro were talking about this, like uh, a lot of people don't know how to feel, like don't know how to like social, be social with girls nowadays because yeah. of these apps, and like you know if the only way, if you want to get better at talking to girls you want to get girls go out and like just fucking get uncomfortable and talk to fucking girls. The worst they can say is no. Exactly. That's it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the dating apps just offer too many too many uh, selections for people. Yeah. And like, well, dude, it's it's like yeah. I mean, now I'm pretty I'm pretty hard on my on my values, bro. I, I honestly like I I sometimes I feel I don't feel bad for my girlfriend. But I'm like, nah, she, yeah, nah, nah, she's, but you know what? She's fucking, yeah. She's a really good guy. She's, she's lucky to be with me and I don't mean to seem like a fucking narcissist guy, but like, I'm, I'm a good dude. Like I don't fucking go out and text chicks. I don't have girl friends that are girls that I, you know, hang out with and shit. I'm not jerking off. I'm not watching pornography. Actually, I've been doing no fat. How long? Shit. I mean, when's the last, when when I texted you, that was when, so maybe like maybe a month and a half now. Was that a month and a half ago? Yeah. Probably at least, maybe at least, maybe at least two months. Yeah, that and like I just, I don't even care to do it anymore. Yeah, honestly, just the urge awesome. went away. Awesome. Pretty dope. It's funny though. Chris Vidal, the kid I was telling you about, who's doing he's doing podcast. it, bro. He's been doing it for six months. This kid has gone to another level of no fap. It's it's incredible. He doesn't come when he has sex now. I'm serious. <laughs> he doesn't. And that that's it's a little far for me. But like, I mean, he's got, dude. The kid went from like, Is he still dating that chick, that Spanish chick, uh, Natalie. Yeah. I don't know if I should say this, but I don't think so. Oh, I don't even. I just remember no, because I don't know. I, was, yeah. I just know from Instagram. I remember they were dating. Yeah, no, so. I, don't, I don't think so. But um, sorry, Chris. I mean, I don't know. we're <laughs> like talking about right. Chris's life. <laughs> no, but bro, I tell him, and I don't mean to seem like a fanboy or like somebody who's like. I mean, I'm not. But like when I when people do good shit, I call them out for it. Yeah, and I say, for like, sure. Good job, bro. Like this kid's physique. He went from like a simp, not a simp, but he just went from like a dude who's you know pretty decent shape, yeah, you know, he some always, muscles yeah. and stuff, to like. The kid, when me and him go to the gym together, I'm like, fuck, this kid looks, this kid looks fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's like, sick. this kid looks like a fucking, like, I see a difference for a, sure. A freak. Yeah. No, I'm serious, bro. Like, I have some photos of him, and I'm like, holy fuck, this kid looked good as fuck. Dude, I'm excited, right? Because when we work out, I, everybody gets fucking jacked. Yeah. Like, you're you're going to see it. When I get a pump, he looks nuts. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, he, he's uh, he's been on his, on his no fap grind, and yeah. I'm proud of him for. No, nah, it's definitely him. helped with me and like Jessica's relationship, too. Yeah. So, I mean, like that I do honestly like we have some good girls though too like I was just thinking about it, like before we're talking about like a minute ago um I mean like she's lucky to have me but I'm also really lucky to have her cuz she's a fucking great girl bro like you know what I mean so uh, I mean so. I think my girlfriend's lucky That's what I'm saying I think regardless. I think for both of us we ha- we're fortunately put in good situations with um really good uh yeah females. and I would say I'm, I'm pretty lucky but at the end of the day like I just want to make this clear no I'm serious I I, don't, I tell her this she knows like yeah. it's, it's just what, who I am now Like I'm not going to Compromise my values And what I believe no, I For agree. anybody I don't give a fuck If you have I a agree. ring On your finger I don't care If you have my children Yeah Like if you're doing Something I don't want You to be doing I will leave you And I'm not have, gonna Have any hesitation Because yeah. once you give Somebody a fucking A little What is it called When you give them A foot They take a mile It's true bro Like if I give If I let anything up For what I believe in The next thing Is gonna be like The next thing And then one more thing And then before I know it It's gonna be like you know, fucking something crazy, and I'm not. I'm not here to deal with that again. Yeah, I'm not doing that again. No, I agree. I'd rather be. We have alone. too much going for us too. Like exactly. just, we just don't have the time physically. I mean, just the same shit. I mean, she even says it too. She's, she doesn't. Do, if, I, if I did something she didn't like, and I don't blame her, then she shouldn't be with me. You know what I mean? And like yeah. vice versa. So and yeah, I mean, uh, you know, being optimistic, I hope everything works out for the best for for our relationship. Of course, and yours. Yeah. But you got to be real. You got to realize the divorce rate in the USA is fifty yeah. percent. You know, like statistics don't they don't lie. Unless you're talking about COVID, just kidding. Uh, statistics don't lie. But dude, then again, too, like, um, do a lot of it, bro. When you look, when you really get down to the to, to the bottom of things, when when people get divorced, I mean, I mean that's not the same for every situation. But, um, dude, a lot of those people, like, they're just not happy with themselves, and like, they how can, if you're not happy with yourself, and like, dude, those people, like, I don't want to say they're losers, but 
they have nothing going for themselves. They have no mental toughness. You know, they don't work out. Um, they want to blame everything on their their everything else the high, but the themselves. High, the, according to like statistics, the highest reason for divorce is infidelity. So it's it's it goes. I know what, what you're that? saying, like what cheating. Thing? Oh really? Yeah. Well, that's the thing. A lot of people. That's what I'm trying to say. A lot of people feel stuck, and they don't. Well, a lot of people don't have the balls to just fucking break up with a girl or not be with the person because they feel bad for them and they feel stuck if they leave them and that they'll have they'll they won't you know and a lot of people regret cheating that's what i'm saying so they so they think cheating they think they think going out and getting another girl will solve this issue but it's like no it's like fix your fucking self fix your mental self going out and getting and fucking other girls there's no uh hey fucking go out and fucking other guys too Whatever, women same women shit. Women cheat more in relationships yeah. than men. I don't know if you knew that. No, I'm not trying. To, I'm not. I'm not here to hate women. I love my mom. I love my sister. I love my grandma. I like yeah. great, great woman. But the modern day female, um, I have to call it like it is. And the modern day male too, bro. There's a lot of fucking loser simps out there. Absolutely, all they do is sit at home, jerk off, and fucking play video games. And yeah, uh, you know, fucking all the, yeah. All the, be, it's it's worse on both sides, but for the most part, like we we gotta we gotta be better at, at staying dedicated and disciplined to what we're doing. If not, then fucking tear up the, the, the legal part of marriage and marriage doesn't mean shit. Exactly. And that's why I always tell everyone, like, like I feel like nowadays, like, marriage isn't really as uh, yeah, as popular I, as it was. To the, to, to the state, it's still, it's still... No, of course. Like, if you get married and you get divorced, like, you're still equally as liable as before, but marriage Absolutely. doesn't mean shit to anybody nowadays. That's what I'm saying. Marriage literally means zero. Nothing. I see marriage, I see nothing. Like, it, it scares me because when I see marriage in past relationships, I'm like, oh, yeah. People just do it now just because, just do it. But back then, it, it meant something. It meant you're making commitment. Like, you won't, you know, you're not doing half the shit that people are doing nowadays. Yeah. Even if not, not anything, you know what I mean? I'm not surprised by a divorce anymore. Like, it's, it seems like it's yeah. normal to get divorced. Yeah. But, and it's funny, though, growing up, though, uh, I feel like I kind of understand um, divorce more. Like when I was younger, I'd never got. I was like, "Why? Why are they getting divorced? Like, what? What's happening? You know what I mean?" But yeah. like, now you look at it, and it's just like it kind of makes sense. Like, because you, I understand people now. I understand that women that are married, they're they're still like they still think the same as they did when they're younger. You don't, you know what I mean? Like, because like as I'm getting older too, like you still have like you know the same thoughts and stuff. Like, like horny, being horny. Yeah, like you know what I mean? Like. They're not they're just because they're married, and like you know, when I was little, I thought, oh, they're they're older, so they they you know they're married. They're, they don't think like that. No, they still think like that. They're fucking. They're probably still horny fucks. There's moms out here with fucking OnlyFans now, and these little kids are going to school and getting bullied and shit because yeah. these moms. You know what I mean? It's like it's sad, bro. I mean, it's just it's the way it's the way the dice rolls. It's but, crazy. Um, yeah, we'll have to do this again soon, yeah. bro. But uh, anyways, that, to wrap up. Nah, yeah, yeah. It's hell yeah, pretty but, much close to an hour. I think I think we started a little late, but. To wrap it up, uh, Chase, where can people find you at? What's up? What's the the, the newest uh, uh, next thing for Chase? Um, so yeah, you can find me at Chase Flores on Instagram. Um, also, if you want to follow my clothing brand, um, Activo Apparel, I'm um, gonna be coming out with these hats soon. This is just a sample. This one's a little messed up. Um, some it's, trucker hats. He's gonna come on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, these are gonna be uh, dropping soon. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna start. Uh, Getting after it more. Uh, every time I hang out, with Matt, I uh, feel a little bit more uh, driven to to get after it. Yeah. Um, by the time so by the time he by the time I get home, I won't next, feel like that. Next time we <laughs> no, I'm saying next time we hang out, Chase will be a millionaire after. Yeah, Matt will too. So no, no. Oh, yeah. we're on the way to the top. Yeah. Um, keep going, keep growing. That's it. And then like two years from now, we'll do another one, and we'll be like, dude, I remember when we did that podcast? Dude, you know it's so funny. I was just thinking as we're doing this podcast, I said, you know what? One day we're gonna look at this, and then we're gonna be somewhere. Really, really, really well. Yeah, it'll be a nice, it'll be a nice progression from that video to this. Yeah. To uh, you know, what I told myself. So my, I just got a new license, and I have to renew it in 2029. I said, all right, by two, by the time I have to renew this license and get a new picture, I better be like, like I, I want to be a totally different, yeah, different person. You know, financially, uh, mentally, uh, with my family. You know what I mean? I got three years so. to make it to make it work. I'm gonna give myself till 2023. 2024. No, I know it's a long time, but I'm just yeah. saying by 20, 2029, I just want to just, you know, kind of, because that's when I'm going to be taking a new picture for my license. I just want to look at that and be like, wow. You know and what I mean? 2024, I want to be, I want to be. What do you have three years? Because school? No, I'm just saying like, I've that's done your goal. school. I just want to, I'm like, I've done the school after this year, like this semester. I want to be, I like, got a point where like, I'm like chilling in three years. Yeah. Not like fully chilling, but like, I want to be like at the point where like, I can. I can say like you know what my hard work is because even now off. my hard work doesn't mean shit. Bro. 
I mean, to be honest, like it doesn't mean anything. What I, goals do though? Accomplish a lot, but like I, I have nowhere. Like I'm, I'm not anywhere close. I'm not even like one percent where I want to be. Yeah. I haven't even like I haven't even got here. Like all this back work is like just to get to the starting point. Like from here to like, and you know, it's there. funny. By the time you get to that three rear mark, you're, you're going to be like, you know what? I'm just getting started right yeah. now. Yeah, that's you know that's what I mean. True. So, but you know, it's funny is because a lot of you know a lot of successful entrepreneurs that did it, but like uh, that are like older, like 40s, 50s. Um, they always say too, like you know, it took them 10, 15, 20 years. Which don't get me wrong, to get to that point, yes. But they even say nowadays, you know, people can get it within three to five years. You know, it's just about being consistent. That that being said, it is a little harder because everyone is doing it, but it's cool that we can do it in a shorter time now because yeah. of the resources we have. You know 100%. what I mean? Yeah, definitely. So anyways, yeah. guys, we appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, I'm old school, Matt. That's Chase Flores. And that's been another buff talk. Talk to you guys later. See you soon. Hey guys, thank you guys for checking out this video. Make sure to go check out all of our other podcasts, Buffalo barbecues, our Buffalo workouts, and also a slew of other things, including challenges and whatnot. So make sure to check out all of these different things. Thank you guys for watching. I am Old School Matt here, and this is Water Buffalo TM. Peace.